Hi guys, so um, this is going to be a quick video about my homemade SNS or supplemental nursing system. Um, I found out a couple weeks ago that my milk supply was extremely low and was causing my baby to have very poor weight gain. Um, he was a preemie, born at 35 weeks, um, weighing 5'11", and at his two-month checkup he weighed 9 pounds, um, 10 ounces. At his four-month checkup, however, which was three weeks ago, he only weighed 11.1. Um, so he had gained just over a pound in two months' time, which was um, a lot less than before and not sufficient to meet his needs. So um, that was three weeks ago, and I realized that I had a low supply and that I needed to supplement him to get his weight up and meet all of his caloric needs and his nutritional needs. Um, the first thing I did, I did a lot of research and found out there is an SNS, Supplemental Nursing System, which um, allows you to nurse your baby and also um, give him the supplementation that he needs at the same time. It's beneficial for both mom and baby um, it's beneficial for mom because it um, you can still have that bonding relationship of breastfeeding. Um, also, it stimulates your breast to produce milk. Every time you put baby to breast, it is better than a pump. Um, and it stimulates your body and your breast to produce the milk that you need. Uh, so it's always good to put baby to breast when you can. Um, for baby, it's good because he is at the breast nursing, um, but getting supplemental feeds, and so he kind of doesn't really know that he's not getting your milk, or, or at least as much of your milk as he used to or could. So it's beneficial for both mom and baby. Um, so shortly after I found out that I needed to supplement with formula, I was heartbroken, of course. We had gone four months at that time exclusively breastfeeding and I was so happy. Um, but he needed it and you know I'm not going to deny him what he needs of course even if that means giving him formula. Uh, so I did a lot of research like I said, found out about the SNS and ordered it off Amazon right away. I ordered the starter system through Modella. There's a starter kit and there's also a um, regular one for long-term use. The long-term use one holds about 150 ml, which is 5 ounces, and the starter kit holds, I believe it's 80 ml, or almost 3 ounces. Um, so some very different products um, out there, and there's also different brands other than Medela, but that's the one I went with because that's my pump. Um, however, I was so eager to start with the SNS and didn't want to wait the week. Um, that it was going to take Amazon to ship it to me. So I started researching how I could make my own at home through things that I had already. And what it basically came down to was a um, Medela bottle, um, just the simple five ounce bottles that come with all of their pumps. Um, also these caps that come with your pumps. Um, just the little yellow caps. Um, we don't really use them. I, when I store breast milk in the fridge, I do use the caps um, on the bottles, or I use mostly breast milk storage bags, so I had a lot of extra caps. Um, you will also need um, a feeding tube, and this is something that you can't get online or even in most medical supply stores. I tried about a dozen in our area, and none of them sold um, feeding tubes. So I went back to my doctor's office, my pediatrician, and asked if she had any and if I could have some. And luckily they were very nice about it. They knew my son's situation and gave me um, five feeding tubes for free. So that was great. And I believe most pediatricians would do that for you as well, um, knowing your situation if you have low supply and your baby needs an SNS. Um, I originally asked for a 5 French and an 8 French. The 8 French is bigger. Um, I didn't know which one would work better. Uh, the 8 French uh, for my 5 month old, who uh, at the time weighed about 11 pounds, was way too big. Um, he choked like within seconds, so don't use the 8 French. Um, 
get a five French, get a couple if you can, and it's a feeding tube, it looks like this. Um, there are two holes on the end, um, if you can see that, and that's where the milk comes out, so that part goes into baby's mouth. And this part actually goes inside the bottle. Now, most feeding tubes that you will get, especially from your doctor's office, will have um, a little cap part, and you can see I cut that off because it's not necessary and it just kind of gets in the way. Um, the other thing you'll need is some tape. I use paper tape because um, I have sensitive skin and it's also really great. Um, you can, uh, if you use the other kind of tape and you're taking it off and on, it can cause um, some issues and paper tape is just generally better um, on the skin. Especially for me, I have to feed my baby with the SNS four to six times a day so it's great to use the paper tape. Um, you can get it over the counter anywhere really. I think I got this at Food Lion but you can get it anywhere and your doctor's office may even give you a roll of that too if you ask them. So um, basically what I did, like I said, um, if you have to supplement with formula or even pumped milk, uh, whichever, doesn't matter. My baby currently gets four ounces at every feeding and so that's why I chose the bottle system. The starter kit, like I said, is only 80 ml, so it's a little bit less than three ounces, which would probably be good for younger babies that need an SNS. But if you have an older baby or a baby that takes more than um, 80 mLs or more than two and a half ounces at a feeding, you may want to consider either the Medela, um, you know, not the starter kit, but the other one that they make, um, or make your own, like I'm about to show you. So um, you start off with an empty bottle, fill it up with your formula or your milk. Um, and what I like to do, and I have to do this every time because I don't remember, um, you know, how Bar to push the feeding tube in. Um, so I put the cap on and feed the tube in. You want to put this part in first. It's heavy and so it weighs itself down to the bottom so that the baby gets every last drop. And we know that breast milk is gold and precious and we want babies to get every last drop. So start with the um, cap um, cap end first. Okay, so thread it through. Um, also, I should say that I made this hole in the cap just with some kitchen scissors. Um, just kind of poked around until I made a hole that was big enough to fit. I don't have it with me, but I also have a nipple, um, a Medela nipple that I cut a hole in the top of to fit the tube in to make it more secure. Um, you can also choose to do that if you like. Um, but I just use this for whatever reason. It's just what I've been using for three weeks. Um, so you want to thread this through the top just like that and into the bottle and you want to see how long you need it to be. So that's about where I need it to be. So I hold my finger like this um, and I usually have a piece of tape already ready to go but I didn't so I'm going to just rip it off really fast. Um, so you rip off a piece of paper tape and you're still holding your tube where it needs to be in the cap. Place your tape over the hole. Um, you want to make sure the hole is sealed so that um, the baby can suck and get that negative pressure. If it's not sealed, the baby will have a hard time sucking the formula or the breast milk out of the bottle. Um, so make sure you tape that on um, nice and secure over the hole and the tube in place as well. So just like that. Okay. And then, um, like I said, fill up your bottle with whatever you need, um, put the tube in, screw it on. Now, after you do this, your SNS is ready to go. Um, I have another video that shows my baby feeding with the SNS, um, but I'll just go ahead and show you kind of what I do before that. Now, the good thing about the Medela SNS um, systems um, is that they come with a necklace, some sort of tie that you can wear around your neck and it's hands free. Mine isn't. Um, I do this when I use the SNS, um, which looks kind of awkward and uncomfortable, but I haven't really found it to be that that way. And I have a 21 month old toddler running around whenever I'm feeding as well. And I just make it work somehow. I could probably attach some sort of um, cord or something to put around my neck to make it easier, but um, quite honestly, I just haven't done that yet. But you could certainly do that and make it work. Um, I've also stuck it under my current necklace that I wear, 
and I sort of um, lean the bottle like that so that it's hands-free but um, as you can see if I turn to the side it's it leans forward a little bit and that kind of worries me so what I normally do is just hold it under my chin like this um, and then what you want to do you want baby to latch on first if you can mine um, will latch on and then come off immediately because he just doesn't nurse I my supply is so low that he if he doesn't feel let down right away or if he um, you know he's been doing this for her so long now he knows there's really not much there anyway so um, he will latch on and then come off pretty quickly so if your baby's like that um, it takes practice but you need to get the tube in his mouth as soon as they latch on so like I said what I do I get my baby ready I, I um, have to feed off the left because I don't produce on the right I produce maybe drops to a half an ounce on the right all day and that's always how it's been I just produce milk only only on the left breast for whatever reason so that's another fun thing that I have to deal with um, anyhow so uh, hold hold your baby um, and then I get this ready like this and I'll try to angle this down a little so you can see um, and basically you want to have everything as ready and set up as you can before you start the process um, because it's it's it can be cumbersome and awkward especially in the beginning so the more prepared you are have your phone within reach your bottle of water your backup bottle of water have everything ready to go especially the first couple of times you do it so that um, you know it's, it's a little bit easier so baby's ready to go um, you want to latch baby and then you want to get the tube as close to your nipple as possible. Now, um, the other thing, you want to make sure that there's not too much tube in here because then your tube here that goes to baby's mouth will be too short. And if it's too short, it won't work. So you want it to be just to where it touches the bottom of the bottle. Okay, you want the tube to touch the bottom of the bottle and the rest to come out so that it's long enough to go into baby's mouth. So, like I said, latch him on, he's right about here, would be his mouth, which is where my nipple is, and the tube is right here. So as I'm holding him and I get him latched, I slide the, the tube in. And it's pretty much like this the whole time. His head is here, he's latched. Um, when he starts to suck and he starts to get milk, I can see the milk go through the tubing. So I know he's getting the milk at that point when I see it go through. Um, and also he stays latched. If he unlatches or has problems and comes off, then I know something's wrong with the tubing. Maybe it's kinked up or something like that. So um, I fix it. But um, So he's latched right here. And like I said, the tube, um, moms do it different ways. Some do it kind of... Um, some do it kind of on the side of the nipple, some do it under the nipple, on top of the nipple. You have to find out what works for you and your baby, and um, my baby really doesn't seem to mind as long as he's getting um, something. So um, just make sure, like I said, that baby's latched and that the tube is right there. Now another thing that a lot of moms do that use an SNS, they will tape they will tape the tubing to their breast right here. They'll tape it right here. You can use one or two pieces of tape. That's completely fine. I don't tape it to my breast. Um, it's just something like the necklace, something I just don't do. Um, a lot of people find it easier to do that, to do those things. I just don't do it. Um, a lot of times I find that my baby will. He's five months old, so he kind of gets distracted. He turns his head a lot, things like that. So. I like to, um, I sort of hold with one hand, both my breast and the tubing, kind of actually like this. Um, that way, if he does turn his head, I can quickly reinsert the tube. Otherwise, if it's a breast milk feeding, um, which is great, um, breast milk, you know, the tube's gonna come out of his mouth and then you've got breast milk going everywhere and not in his mouth where you want it to go. Um, or formula, same thing, but you know, breast milk, of course, we don't wanna waste any of that. So um, you can tape the tube right here. I, I just choose not to. Now, um, as far as cleaning, um, I, from what I've been told and things that I've read, um, I just take everything apart after the feeding. I throw the tape away, of course, um, but the cap and the bottle and the tubing, I wash with warm soapy water and dry it for the next feeding. Now, at the end of the night, the feeding tube, I will actually take it and boil it um, 
in a pot of water for about two to three minutes. I'm not quite sure if you have to do that. I'm, I'm not quite sure about the recommendations on boiling and sanitizing, um, things like that. Um, I know the bottle and the cap, um, I will sanitize those as well. We use the Medela steam bags, which I recently found out you don't even have to use those um, for breast pump parts and things like that. Um, it's kind of a marketing ploy. So more to come on that and do your research and find out what you think is best. But that's what I do. I just boil the tube at the end of the night, sanitize you know, the parts, but in between feedings, I just rinse with warm soapy water and that's it. And it makes it a lot easier. It's already hard enough to feed with an SNS, and um, let alone having to do you know, tons of cleaning and sanitizing and all that in between. And you know, if your baby is a little one and feeding eight or 10 times a day with an SNS, um, having to use eight or 10 different bottles and tubes and caps would just be almost impossible. So um, yeah, I just wash in between each use and just use the same setup every day. And like I said, my doctor's office gave me five feeding tubes. So I have plenty of these guys and I just wash them and sanitize at the end of the day and then use a new one the next day and so forth. Um, that's my setup. It's worked for me for the past three weeks. It's not perfect and um, it can be tweaked. You know, you can, like I said, make a necklace for the bottle. You can use a smaller bottle if you like. Um, you can use a nipple instead of a cap. Um, there's lots of different, lots of different ways to tweak this system, but I will say for me it has really, really worked and it has helped to give me um, hope that one day that breastfeeding relationship will be reestablished like it was when we first started his first couple of months of life. Um, I'm currently working on getting my supply back up and also um, him. He has a tongue tie, which I didn't know until I started working with Stacy. He is getting that fixed next week. Um, he's getting it lasered. So after that, hopefully his latch and his nursing will be much better and uh, may not need to use the SNS for much longer. Um, but do be careful if you buy one instead of making your own. There are long-term ones and there are short-term ones. So just something to consider. Um, and like I said, I have a video of him actually using it. I will try to link it below if I can figure out how to do that. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm by no means an expert, but um, I have been doing this at least for the past three weeks. And I have some other tips and tricks on different things to related to breastfeeding that I've just found out along the way through my journey with both of my kids. Um, who were both preemies and I had problems breastfeeding both of them but um, the difference this time is that I have help through um, an IV CLC which I highly encourage if you have problems with low supply, latch issues, anything like that or if you want um, extra help with using your SNS. So I hope this video was helpful to you and hope that it finds you um, on your way, your breastfeeding journey, whatever that may be. I hope that it helps you on your way. Good luck to you.